the next time the market goes down, I'm going to have what I think is the best economic genius of our time with years of experience to tell me, oh, you got $30 million, Dave? This is what I would do with it. My goal in life is to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of my potential. If I haven't used every ounce of energy to provide value and be of service, I've ruined the day. I'm building a brand the last three and a half years for one purpose. I want to empower over a billion people to be happy. That will empower a thousand people in your lifetime to empower a thousand people simply to be happy, to make more money, help more people, and have more fun. People that think they're stupid won't what? It's the biggest tragedy of all of them. They won't ask for help. Anybody ask me why I lost all my money? It's because I didn't ask for help. I made one bad assumption and didn't make, ask for help. All I had to do is ask for help. I could have accelerated everything that I owned at that time just by asking people that had been there before, like I have now, right? I've been through four cycles of the economy at 51. I've seen the up and the down four times. I know how you can make money on the down and how to make money on the up. I know how to save. I know how to leverage myself. And I'm still asking for help. And when the next dip happens, I'm gonna go to the experts, the experts, including Warren Buffett, and I will find his number, I will find someone that knows him, and I will get in front of him and tell him, you are going to mentor me, I'm going to be concise, give me your cell phone when I need help with a quick question, you're going to answer it for me because I'm gonna do anything you want me to do that I'm capable, does that sound fair? I will, because I know he'll say yes. It's just a matter of me finding the number or where he's gonna be or what he's gonna do and get in front of him, which I will do. But now, the next time the market goes down, I'm gonna have what I think is the best economic genius of our time with years of experience to tell me, oh, you got $30 million, Dave? This is what I would do with it. Okay, thank you. Why should I guess? That guy seems to be a lot smarter about this kind of thing than I am. He kind of studies it every day since he's been like 16. I think he's 86 or 90 now. He, I think he knows a lot. Why, you know, but think about how it all manifested itself. What do stupid people do? They don't ask for help. Why? Because they're afraid they'll be exposed for what they really are. Those who are powerful enough to ask for help, those that are humble enough to ask for help, go to the wrong people for help. They don't go to the people that sit in the situation that they want to be in. They go to the people that love us most, thinking that just because they care so much about us, the advice must be good. And those people are usually called your mom or your dad or your sister, or your brother, your best friends, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins. And what happens is we end up resenting those people that we love the most when we're capable of manifesting what they want for us. And it happens all the time. And we make bad decisions all the time because somebody says, oh, you know what? You should really consider doing something else. Oh, that really is not going to work out. And all they want is what's best for you, but they don't know what's best for you. When you ask for help, and if you ask for advice from people, if it doesn't sit right for you, it's a handful of sand, right? Just let it go through. Be grateful for all those people that give you advice and want to help you. Be grateful for the fact that they care enough about you to want to manifest what they want for you. It doesn't mean you have to manifest it or you have to agree with it. Just be thankful for it. Don't create additional resistance by going, Oh my God, all you're doing is projecting your insecurity when your parents say, you gotta do this. And you're like, oh, oh. you know, when I was young, I would do this. You don't have to say anything but thank you. Just thank you. And I don't care how old you are, we all know that have parents still that give us advice, even if we're 50, 60, or 70, we feel the same way when they tell us what they want for us. The same way our friends, our siblings, our associates, tell us what they want for us. Just be grateful that they care enough to allow us to have what they want for us. You don't have to have it, let it fall through your hand. But if something resonates with you, hold on to it. If someone has situational knowledge and experience, right, when I wrote this book, I had no idea how to write a book. All I knew is that Think and Grow Rich had the most impact of any book I had ever read. So I said, nah, Napoleon Hill, there's a Napoleon Hill Foundation Maybe I should go there and ask for help. Hey, I want to write a book like Think and Grow Rich that's both pragmatically sound with advice, but also has a spiritual energy or inspiration to it. And in 15 minutes, they set me on my way to understand what I could do, and they helped me ever since. Right? I end up in the movie Think and Grow Rich. I end up in the new book Think and Grow Rich. Why? Because I simply did what Napoleon Hill taught to do, ask for help. Can I have the advice of the smartest people on earth? At my company, we give a, a dummy tax award. 
because I believe that we need to ask for help. We have to learn from our mistakes. So what I do is I go around every month and I ask, what's the biggest mistake you make and why, and why did you make it and what are you supposed to learn from it? And then I vote on who made the biggest mistake and then I give them money to make up for the dump tax that they had to pay. I started living my life asking people to be of service, but also to ask them for help. Best example I can give you is if somebody put something up on top of the goalpost, I could go and I could pr probably figure out how to get it down. But it's a lot easier to pick the tallest guy on the team and ask them just to get it down for me. I've been trying to write this book and do more public speaking. I do it now, but whatever I need to do to get 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your time for me is traveling. I'm gonna do it. I just need to carve out that time to pick your brain, share a little bit of my story, and get your help to get my career and my personal life to that next step. Answer is yes. Yes, Colleen in the corner will schedule that for you. Please listen to what he just said. That's how you ask for help, right? I need 10 minutes of your time, right? Show the respect that, you know, people ask me all the time, hey, can you invest in my company? And they write this long, long thing that doesn't belong on text or LinkedIn or anywhere, even email. And my response is always, send me a business plan. But yeah, I've got to see, there's a billion great ideas out there, but I want to see a plan on how to monetize it, how to make money from it. And that's what a business plan does. And I'm happy to help you. I got to tell, you know, I don't have a business plan. Here's a template. This is one of the best ones that I've seen. There's always a help. That's how you ask for help.